Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for taking us, taking me to a realm of worship this morning and to experience his presence in my life this morning. He is worthy for all praises. He is the only one who is worthy and worthy and worthy for all our praises because he has saved us. He, he has given us new life new hope and not only that he has given us eternity he has promised and he is going to take us to that life amen good to be back once again here and this time i came with another lady with me <laughs> and that is sally my wife this is her first trip first time in the u.s and we really enjoy your, you know, being with us, with, with you here. And also, I want to thank all of you, especially Brother Carl and Sister Dean for having us there. And uh, she has cooked a very tasty food for us. I doubt whether I, uh, my children will recognize me whether when I go back. <laughs> Praise the Lord for that. But more than that, I am so happy that there's a group of people here who really loves the Lord. I see that. Even when we meet each other, it is not because of anything but because of Him. Yes. Amen? Amen? So I am grateful. And... Um, you all know that I had gone through a surgery in 2014, April 1st. That was my surgery done on my heart, and I am standing here with a new heart. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. At least I'm having that kind of new heart. <laughs> anyway, the Lord is so great and good to me. And he has given me health and strength to come over here. Uh, actually, in fact, uh, some uh, people, a few of, few people asked me to sing a chorus in Malayalam, in our language, and also to be translated into English. I tried to translate it Saturday night that songs and chorus. I will try to sing in English, but if you don't understand me, that English think that I'm singing in Malayalam. <laughs> <laughs> that goes like this, it is thy wing that warmeth me. It is thy hands that covereth me. Deeply desire to be closer to you, to lay my life at your feet. That Malayalam, first I will sing in Malayalam. How many of you want to hear it in Malayalam? Tadende mar valle chudeni ke Tadende kai alle tanaleni ke Tadende mar valle chudeni ke Tadende kai alle tanaleni ke kodiye rumne aril varam tirupadatil kidam niruvan kodiye rumne aril varam tirupadatil kidam niruvan hope you all understand me it is the wing that cover warm at me. It is thy hands that cover at me. It is thy wing that warm at me. It is thy hands that 
covereth me deeply desire to be closer to you to lay my life at your feet deeply desire to be closer to you to lay my life at your feet tadande marwalle chudanike tadande kaiyalle it is his arms and it is his wings that covereth me every day in my life. Not only me, all of us. How much we should thank the Lord for his covering over us. In our going and in our coming, in our workplace, in our kitchen, in our day-to-day -day life. Oh, I want to thank him. Lord, we want to thank you for this day. Lord, I want to thank you for this day you have given us to worship you. Our hearts are full of gratitude and thanks to you, O oh God, for what you have done in our lives. The important thing you have done in my life and in our lives, that you have saved our lives. You have saved our lives. You have given us a new song to sing, oh God, and we want to thank you for that. We just want to exalt your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Sorry, when I, am, I think of my God, sometimes I get emotional <laughs> because I cannot forget what he has done in my life. He has done, we sing that, he has done many things in our lives. He has done great things in our lives. Thank for that. I just want you to turn with me to Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 3 and 4. Verse 3 it says, How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord? and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. As I was reading this portion, one particular thing came into my mind, arrested my mind, is this, that our salvation is not a silly salvation. It is not an unimportant salvation. It is known as a great salvation. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank the Lord for that. That's why God says that if you neglect this salvation, which is so great, you cannot escape. We cannot escape. We cannot escape the wrath of God. We cannot escape from his hand. That really challenged my life. And I want to encourage all of you that consider this salvation. You are more valuable for God not because of your education, our education, or our family background, or our richness, or our ability or talent of any of none of these things. But you are more important, very important for God because of the salvation you received from the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we are very important for the Lord. We are very important. You're happy? <laughs> I was telling somebody, 
one man is visiting New York, Washington, Philadelphia and all from Rome. I am visiting North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to tell you I am more important than him in the eyes of the Lord because I have that great salvation in me. We have that great salvation in us. You believe that? God has saved us from miry clay and lifted us up and set our feet on the rock to stay. And he has given us a new song to sing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. How many of you have that new song in your lives? <laughs> Every day when you come on the stage, it is not that... We write a new song and sing, but all song you can sing as a new song. <laughs> with a new experience, with a new happiness, with a new gladness, with a new, new, new power and courage in you. Praise the Lord. So it's a great salvation. And I was just thinking, Lord, why this is so important? Have you ever thought of that? No, this is a great, great salvation, and this cannot be attained by filling a form, filling a card, or raising a hand in a crusade. This can be, this can be received only by true repentance. That is what we miss today in the Christendom today. You know, in a crusade, so many thousands are coming forward. Telling that they accept Jesus Christ and there is no change in their lives means that salvation is not working in them. This salvation is supposed to work deep within our lives. In our day-to-day -day life, every second of our life. Well, that is what sometimes we miss, isn't it? It's a great salvation. And God says, God is warning us, don't neglect this salvation ever in your life. Every day, think of this salvation. I can just, you know, encourage, exalt you for one thing, that when you get up from the bed, say, thank you, Lord, for this salvation. Thank you, Lord, for this salvation. Because it's a great salvation. And this salvation is great because of the Savior. Yes. You see, read uh, from chapter 1, verse 1 onwards, God who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in the past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son. This is the last way of salvation. Jesus Christ is the last and final way of God for our salvation. There I stand one minute. Pause one minute and think about the teaching behind us. Some people teach that. But the church is raptured and, you know, having games on the midair. <laughs> No, for nothing we are we are raptured and taken away, and we will be on the midday and do what? Doing what? What? I don't know. God will not waste His time. <laughs> God has not even a second to waste. So in the midday, people teach that we will be on the midday and we will be there, and at the same time, the anti Antichrist will rule over the world. And because of the great tribulation, the Jews will get saved. Wait one minute. Let me ask you one thing. Man, how can you be saved without the grace of God? The grace is taken away. The Holy Spirit is gone away. Then after that, if you can say, be saved, the way of the Lord, the, the, Lord, the, the crucifixion of the Lord, Jesus is becoming vain. No. That is the most important, the final way of God's salvation to his people. Amen?
And I believe one thing that whether you will agree or not, after this, there is no way for a salvation for mankind. Oh, we are living in a very blessed, God-given time that we can experience this Lord in our lives. Father has sent his son to this world as a final way. You believe? And you read further about this son. Holy Spirit in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 2 onwards up to 11. It is take, talking about this, about this son. Verse 3 it says, Who being the brightness of father's glory. Who is that? The brightness of father's glory is the son, Lord Jesus. And then again it says, and the express image of his person. And upholding all things by, word, by the word of his power. Can you imagine that? That power? No, I cannot. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I cannot imagine the power of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. It is unimaginable. This morning I got a, a clip from my son, somebody in America, I think. Who is this Barabbas? The, the title of that clip is, who is, you can go to YouTube and uh, see that. And Barabbas is no man, it's me. That preacher is telling, it's me, it's you. We stand on the, uh, uh, there at uh, uh, the place of Barabbas and there is somebody else on the other side is ready to go to the cross to die for your sins. Yes. That's what he meant. And can you imagine? You, you cannot, I, I cannot imagine his power. The whole universe is his, isn't it? And here it says, he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of the Father of the Majesty on high. Only one has done that. Only one has gone to the Father and seated at the right hand of the Father. And that is Jesus. Again it says, being made so much better than the angels, he, and as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. They means angels. Our Jesus has obtained a more, what do you say, more excellent name. That's what our Jesus is. And again it says, being made so much better, sorry, verse 5, for unto which all the angels said, he, saw, he at any time, sorry, for unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And again, I will be to you, him a father, and he shall be to, be to me a son. God said, you are my son. Son said, you are my father. Only Jesus did that. Again, explaining about the Savior. Who is this Savior? I know one thing that the Lord has told me, if you know the Savior, you will then realize the greatness of your salvation. If you don't understand the Savior, then your salvation is going to be a, something shallow, something very unimportant for you. But if you know the Savior who came down from the heaven to the earth, died for you, now seated on the throne, his name is exalted among all the generations, all the creations, and this God, this Jesus, died for our sins to save us. He has brought us salvation. So, I just want to encourage you this morning to know the greatness of your salvation, know the Savior very well in your life. Every day, I don't think I've ever known as I ought to know him. 
That's a limit for every human mind to know him, isn't it? But one day we are going to see him, see him as he is, and we shall be changed to his image to know him as he is. But until then, we in this world, little by little, we know him. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. In the times of your trouble, he, you know him. In your sickness, you know him. In the time of your needs, you know him. You come to know him. He is standing with you. He is not the one who said, I will be always with you. I will be at your right hand. Have you ever read that in the scripture? I keep my God always before me, but next word says, uh, because of he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. He's on the right hand. When you get into the car, uh, yeah, when you get in, if husband is driving, always wife will be on the other side, isn't it? But, <laughs> but the one who drives on the right hand, somebody is sitting, invis invisible. Praise the Lord. That is why, see, we are safe on the roads. Hallelujah. That is why we come back home safe, isn't it? Oh, can you imagine? He, he is always with us. Hallelujah. And this God is our Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I am, I am encouraged. I am excited. Hallelujah. Because I am very important for God because... Not because of me, because of my ability, but because of that Savior. Yes. Who died on the cross for me. Who is still highly exalted among all gods. He is the one, he is the one who made all things. And then, verse 13, I want you to come to, with me to verse 13. But... To which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? Verse 14, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall have big crusades? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> you did not get me. If I read, I read, some people have to read like this. Are they not all ministering spirits? Verse 14. Send forth to minister for them who shall have big crusades all over the world. No. Some people think that only on the crusade time, this spirit, that angels will come and heal the people and go away. But here it says, for them who shall be heads of salvation. Those who experience salvation, because of this salvation in you, God is compelled to send angels to guard you. I'm sorry to take the name of Brother Phil. I, I, I think I have the right to do that. I mean, <laughs> not because he can play the organ here, he is important for God, but the salvation in him. Because of that, the angels are bound, the angels are cumbled, the angels are advised to go and help those who experience this salvation in our lives. Amen. Think about that. Think about that. Suppose in this hall, in the sanctuary or in this place, we have a one trillion dollars kept. Just imagine that. And uh, will you be Serious about that and, uh, and have some kind of security they here? You have already a security alarm. Still, you will make sure 
appoint some brothers at least, not the security people from the world, at least some brothers to come and you know, guard that, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I'm just, just trying to explain you. Because of this salvation, God said, I have given this Philip Thomas my salvation, my angels. Now, one more person in your list, write that list and go and make sure that you got him because of that salvation. Because of that salvation. Again, I want to tell you, because of that salvation. <laughs> Because of that Savior who is living in us. Turn with me to, I think I have read once uh, that portion here, Second Corinthians chapter 4. And verse 5 onwards we read like this, Second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 5 onwards. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Jesus' sake. We are preaching Jesus Christ. Yes. And verse 6 says, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Again, it's about Jesus Christ. Now, verse 7, it says, But we have this treasure. What, that, what is that treasure? Jesus. The salvation is a treasure. Where do you put the treasure? It's, it's a treasure. In some translation it says deposit. We go and deposit money on the road. No one will do that. <laughs> You go and put your money in a, in a bank which is going to be bankrupt very soon? <laughs> no. You will make sure that your money will be safe and secure. Isn't it? Oh, I tell you, if you think from that angle, you have been selected by God to de deposit the treasure in you so that he thought that this will be safe and secure in you, in me. Did you get me? Are you happy? Yes. Happy with the Lord, not with the preacher? <laughs> tell, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, we are not a silly people. Yes, we are very great before the Lord. If we are not great before the world, we are great for the Lord. Not because of anything, but because of the salvation. But because of Jesus Christ in us. And what do you think when you deposit some money? Suppose $100,000 you deposit it and you want to get it back at $50,000? You would like to get... 50,000 more added to that, isn't it? Some people are staring at me. <laughs> How did you know my heart? <laughs> now that's what man is. And God also deposited this salvation, this Jesus, in you and me, thinking or expecting that this will grow. This deposit will grow day by day, day by day, little by little. Yeah, man? Yes. No, see, this, 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 he has deposited that in you and me to be increased. To be increased. Hallelujah. Just examine your personal life, your life in the Lord. How is it? Is it increasing day by day or decreasing it? Oh, now somebody is telling, man, there's a scripture I, that I may decrease and he may increase. Yeah, that's right. We all need to be decreased and he has to be increased in our lives. That's why, again, let me tell you, 
There are so many Obamas and there are, those, there are so many Pobs and there are so many eloquent great people in the world still God has chosen us to deposit this Christ in us because he has got a confidence in you that if I deposit this will be safe and secure and not only safe and secure this will increase day by day amen and we have this treasure in us and not only that, I, I think I read one, I, 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 I shared once here, we have this treasure in earth and vessels. Tell you, man, <laughs> that I cannot accept. <laughs> if you come to India, you'll see that lockers are available in the banks. Do you have here? Lockers means, I uh, know, um, very hard, very strong, uh, what do you say, lockers where you can go and keep your ornaments or money, even money, safe deposit. Yeah, we say lockers, safe lockers. You can go and keep that money and you can be at ease that nobody will come and take it away because they have the alarm, security system, everything there. But you see here, can you imagine somebody depositing a treasure, a deposit in heaven vessels? Our minds say it is not possible. This is foolishness. But God says, that is my wisdom. <laughs> I deposit. My treasure, Jesus Christ, in heaven vessels, and I know that that will be safe and secure and that will increase there. I don't know, I am excited today morning. <laughs> Are you? Not because of anything else, but because of... Yeah, most of the pastors are excited on Sunday morning. <laughs> but last few days this has been talking to me so many things. We have this treasure in us, in earthen vessels. Brothers, I want to tell you, sisters, folks, I want to tell you, as long as I, you remain as an earthen vessel, you can experience this Christ in you. The moment you turn to be a metal pot, the moment you think that you, I, I can hold, I can do, I am something, I am good, I am great, I am, I am, I am, then you are missing this Christ in you. Praise the Lord. Also, this salvation is so great for me and you. If not, for God, this salvation is very great. And because of this salvation in you, in you and me, we are very, very, can you feel that? Fill the blanks. You are very, very important for the Lord. You are very, very, what do you say? It's, it's Hebrew says, so it's a great salvation. Think about the Savior. Because of the Savior, this salvation is very important. And because of the salvation is so great, God is sending his angels to guard the salvation. Hairs of, hairs of salvation, isn't it? We are the hairs of salvation. We have salvation in us, isn't it? And because of the salvation in you, the Lord is sending his angels to guard each one of us. Isn't it encouraging you? Amen. We have seen, we have heard so many messages that the angels, I'm sorry, the angels are with us, guarding us and leading us and so many things. But why? Because of the salvation, because of this Jesus Christ in us, because of this deposit in us, because of this treasure in us, God is bound to guard you and me so that you will not lose it. You will not misuse it. You will not take it very easy. 
and you will definitely see the seriousness of the greatness of this salvation. And again it says, verse 4 of chapter 2, And then says, uh, verse 3, it says, How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Which? The salvation which? At the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. The Lord himself has spoken to us about this salvation. We read in Matthew chapter 21, I think it's from verses 33 to 41, we all know that one man had a vineyard and he tried to sell, he first sent his servants to get the benefit of that and uh, the people there, what happened, killed the, killed the servants. Finally, the owner of that land said, I will send my only son. Send him. And I know that. That's the most important thing Father God can ever offer for you. That's the only one thing. Rest of rest of all the other things come below to that. This is very important for all of us. And here it says, confirm unto us by them that heard him, God also bearing them witness. And again it says, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. Let me finish here. You know that? These miracles and this, I believe, even today God can do miracles. Not for your personal benefit, but it's for Him. Why? God is confirming you that you are under my care. Praise the Lord. When you are in need, He will open ways for you. And that miracle tells you one thing, that man, man, son, my brother, sister, my daughter, you are so valuable for me, because I have given you my great salvation. I believe even today God can do miracles in our lives. He can heal you. You believe? He can deliver you from your situations. Oh, so many things he, he can do. But all those things are confirming the salvation in you. That's, uh, that is to confirm the salvation we experience in our lives. Praise the Lord. If you allow me, I will jump and dance here because of this salvation. Amen. Don't allow me. <laughs> because of this salvation. What a great salvation we have. What a great savior we have. Hallelujah. What a great savior we have. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Even while yet sin, we, are, we were at sinners, God sent his own begotten son to die on the cross of Calvary to save you and me. I am not... I may not be good for my people. I may not be good for the society. But still, he has chosen me to deposit his treasure in me, yes. in you. Yes. How much we need to thank the Lord for this great salvation. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 This morning, all the songs were praising God and exalting God. Now why? Because he's the only one who is worthy for all yes. praises. Yes. Amen? Amen? I just want you to always remember this in your life, that we are so important for the Lord because of the salvation in us. Because of nothing else but because of the salvation. And uh, we'll be going on 29 back to Chicago. From Chicago, 
we will be flying out to India on October 6 and pray for the ministry in India. Thank you for helping us to build a uh, place for gathering on the top of our house. I have some, shown some pictures to the brothers and I'll make sure that I'll go and get a clear picture and send it to you so that you will thank the Lord for that and also helping me in my opera surgery and uh, I want to be available for the Lord. I want to preach this gospel true gospel to the people not just some gospel but the gospel of the kingdom to the people and please pray for us you know that I have four children oldest is daughter she's now she's been married and now divorced and she's at home and another three boys one boy is doing ministry with his cousin in another city some of you may know a city called Bangalore uh, you know, uh, our, our Silicon Valley there. <laughs> and um, the third son is studying for medicine. He's finished his uh, course and doing his residency. I don't know, what do you say here, residency or internship? Yeah. yeah. And um, the last son will be going for his BSc Perfusion Technology. You don't know. Isn't it? That's what I, my condition in the beginning. It is a technician course for, uh, you know, during the operation of the surgery, heart or surgery, uh, the, the, the you know, respiratory and the ventilator machinery's uh, operating technician course. So he's, he'll be going on 5th October to Bangalore to study that. And please pray for us. And uh, I have my wife here, I already told you, she is the backbone of our family and of my ministry. Somebody is telling, yeah, everywhere, everywhere is the same. She is the backbone of he. <laughs> okay, so just pray for us and that the man, Lord may use us in future. And I invite you all to India. <laughs> I, I knew that you would laugh at it. <laughs> But again, you laugh and think about that. <laughs> and uh, at least send Brother Phil and some brothers. <laughs> of course, sisters also. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.